the hell? <laughs> this video has sat on my channel for four months. It took me one year to get to 1,000 subscribers. In one week, this video collected 90,000 views. That's just phenomenal. I don't know how to cope with these numbers. It probably means nothing to a lot of people, but that's like pretty amazing to me. So naturally, there were a lot of questions related to the desk build and a lot of comments, a small amount of criticism, um, but honestly, 95% positive feedback. So I'd just like to address things that people have said. I'd like to give you guys an update on how the desk is going and things that I've changed since I built it in the video. So let's start with the most important thing. I put this dog bed in and Dora is very comfortable. I also built speaker stands. So these are galvanized pipe fittings to match the theme of the desk and Oregon timber tops. So speakers just sit on top of there, there's one on each side and it just kind of keeps, keeps things out of the way and organized. Um, so I've got a list of things that I'm going to address here. Aha. So many of you noticed that I didn't actually put anything over the LED strip and I completely intended to. That's why I put this slot for the LED strip to go into so that I could put a, a translucent cover so that it would kind of disperse the lighting so it wouldn't look like individual lights. It'd look like one solid stream of lighting. And I still intend on doing that, but it's kind of difficult to find the right material or product in Australia. So I've only really had one major problem with the desk since not being able to fit it into my bedroom and that is that I kind of built it too high I think for my body. Um, I should have looked at one of those ergonomic charts but essentially what happened is the desk is too high and it causes my arms to my elbows to be too high so I'm kind of like tensed up and it was giving me a lot of shoulder pain because I was sitting here for a fair amount of hours each day. So I made this slide out keyboard and mouse holder that would actually lower the, the height that my wrists would rest by about 100 mil. And since installing this, I haven't actually had a problem at all. I, I was getting a lot of shoulder pains and it's completely gone. So I really like this and I, it folds away so it kind of keeps the top of the desk uncluttered. But if I was to do it again, I'd probably just get the height right. So one other thing that would have been great in hindsight is that I've used paint without using a primer. And as a result, the edge that I use the most, which is the front edge, is chipped. So it's basically just from, I guess my arms resting on it or even the chair bumping into it, it's chipped the paint. So either use more coats, heavy duty paint or prime it before you do that. Okay, next. Computer overheating. So a lot of people were concerned that my computer was going to overheat and die because I kept it in this contained space. Now, yes, there is not a lot of airflow coming in here, but at the back, there is space. 
out to the room. So the ambient air temperature is basically the same as the inside of this case. My computer has fans on the side and back, so there is actually quite a lot of airflow and I've taken a, temp a thermometer, measured the temperature and it does not get hot enough to damage the computer. In fact, it's basically the same as the temperature in my room. <sighs> okay. Out of the four or 500 comments on the video, this was probably 20% of them, I would say. Why didn't you just bring the desk through the window? You're an idiot. You should've just brought it through the window. Why didn't you use the window? Look, it's bloody hilarious how many people know my room better than I do. Firstly, the width of the desk is wider than the window. Aha, why don't you just take the window out of the frame and put it back after? I can't. It's solid steel, it's, it's been painted, it's been nailed, it's been glued there. I can't take it off. In addition to that, we're renting this place and I can't just go busting up the walls to bring in furniture. You, can, you can't do that and it's, it's too much work, man. One more thing. My room is like three meters up from ground level and this desk was not light. Okay, moving on. I have installed a microphone boom. So I use this a lot for my recordings and voiceovers and things like that on videos and it's awesome. I used to have this microphone sitting on the desk, but now I got it here and I can move it around. Depending on where I'm sitting, I can just swivel it away. It's really convenient. Turns out a lot of people have excellent taste in music. And I really appreciate the very small percentage of you that watch Russell Coates' All Aussie Adventures. Thank you. I've also added a power cube. Damn, childproof. Yay! So this has got three 240 volt outlets and two USB outlets so I can charge my phone just here. And when I'm not charging my phone, the cable just kind of hangs down and it's out of the way. So that's kind of my elegant solution to power. The logic behind having these two pillars was that I'd be able to mount the monitors onto them. Ideally I'd have three, I'd have one on the left and right and one in the center. And I'd mount them onto some kind of boom arm or hinge or something so that I could move them around, angle them. Haven't got around to it yet, but it's gonna happen. And I guess the last thing I'd like to say is a word of warning. Um, so having the metal trimming around the outside of the table looks freaking awesome, but it's not the most comfortable thing because if your wrists are resting on it, it's quite cold and uncomfortable. So Maybe not the best. Maybe not the ultimate computer desk. So I'd just like to enlighten you guys for a moment and show you the benefits of having a slightly viral video on YouTube. Suddenly you get approached by all these weird and wonderful people. I'd like to introduce you to Krishnado Singh. This is the email I received from Krishnado. Willing to work with you on YouTube. Basically, I am from India. That will help you in increasing your subs subscriber and I will translate it in other languages, Hindi and also Indian languages. But I'm not going to read it all. But this is the guy that wants to be my translator. So I responded naturally. Yes, I'm interested. Then how can we work together? I'd first like to know how you will increase my subscriber count. By translating your videos in Hindi also, so that Indians could also see and understand it, your videos are a matter of interest. It will automatically increase views and subscribers. <sighs> I'm not convinced. I don't know what it is, Krishnado. I'm sure you're a lovely guy. 
it just, I just don't think that, I don't know if we're right for each other. You gotta be ruthless. Now that I'm, now that I'm famous, you gotta be, you gotta be absolutely ruthless with people. I don't know if I'm ready for this kind of fame. I just don't know if I can keep this up. I can't say no to people like this all the time. I won't be able to do it. <laughs> so, thank you so much guys. I got tremendous feedback and it was really encouraging and I'd like to make more videos. Um, so for the majority of you that are only here because you've seen this video, I'd like to encourage you to go and check out my other stuff without sounding like a desperate promoter um, because most of my videos are very similar quality and I think you'd enjoy them. It's as simple as that. Alrighty. I'll see you next time, eh?